Electric cars are far more reliable than internal combustion, says this new study. However, one brand of electric cars is 20 times, 20 times more reliable than diesel, petrol, gasoline powered cars. But one EV brand is twice as bad as gasoline. In fact, one EV brand is breaking down twice as twice as often as gasoline-powered vehicles, and one of them is breaking down 20 times less. This information is really important. When you buy an electric car, you don't want to be the one driving the, the car that you're in fear of breaking down. So here's the information on really potentially what could save you a lot of hassle. Guys, when I first saw this, this information, this story come out of Germany, I really went, wow, you guys need to know this information. It's insane. And it proves the point we've been saying for a long time now, that electric cars are far more reliable than gasoline-powered cars. There's been studies in America trying to claim otherwise, which I've been saying for a long time I thought were made up and fake. I really think this new study from Europe proves the point that actually internal combustion is far more unreliable than electric cars. In, in fact, the difference is so staggeringly wide between the reliability of EVs versus the reliability of internal combustion cars, gasoline or diesel powered cars, that the numbers honestly are truly shocking. Hello, my friends. Great to have you with us. Just got back from China. I've been the last two days out surfing with my boys and it's been a bit too much and I've come down with some sort of cold. So I apologize for the, um, the, the snotty sounding voice. Now, a number of different publications have reported on what has happened here, and the numbers are pretty shocking. It shows you that internal combustion cars, cars of the same age, so they've compared cars, both cars, 2022 versus 2022, internal combustion versus EVs, 2023 versus 2023. They're only comparing cars that are the same age in this study. So you can't, I've seen this comment from people, oh, it's not a fair comparison. Electric cars, um, uh, they're only. It's not. A, they're, they're trying to compare new cars to old cars. No, I'm going to cut you off here. Please don't comment in the comment section saying this stuff because you're a hundred percent wrong. I'm sure someone will do it anyway. These cars are like for like, age for age, right? And it shows that on average, internal combustion cars break down two and a half times more often. In fact, just a bit more than two and a half times more often versus electric cars. The German Automobile Club published an analysis of its database that records all the breakdowns its yellow angel service responders attended. And this is basically the main breakdown service in Germany. With each year that passed, ADAC has been able to further expand the comparison between electric cars and internal combustion, says the Driven, improving its analysis and working out what's really going on in the real world, not from some bogus study from an American to, to be honest, guys, I, I'm not trying to pick on America here, but let's be fair. There's been some pretty bogus studies here um, from some publications in the United States. I'm not going to name who they are because I'm sure you know who they are. Claiming that EVs break down far more, far more often than internal combustion. And I think they're fake. I honestly think that they're bought and paid. Throughout 2024, ADAC's Yellow Angels responded to 3.6 million breakdowns. That's a lot of breakdowns with the total number of breakdowns increasing by a staggering 97% and the number of EV breakdowns increasing by 46% because there's more electric cars on the roads. When comparing EVs to internal combustion vehicles, ADAC limits its comparisons to vehicles, like I said, of the same age. So this is a fair comparison. Sample size was cars two to four years old. Two to four years old. So these numbers might be even even worse for 2024. We know that EVs continue to get better every year by substantial amounts. And I suspect internal combustion cars are not really getting better in the same way that electric cars are. ADAC found that combustion engines suffer two and a half times, in fact, just a bit more than two and a half times as many breakdowns as electric cars. It worked out to 9.4 internal combustion engine breakdowns per 1,000 vehicles, versus 3.8 breakdowns for 1,000 vehicles for electric cars. Now, the thing is here, I don't know if these breakdowns with the electric cars could be people just running out of battery power. It's possible. I don't know. ADAX analysis looked at a total of 159 different car models, finding that the Tesla Model 3 
Uh, he'd had the best performance among electric cars at two years old with 0.5 breakdowns per 1,000. So, I mean, guys, sometimes people say, oh, you just love Tesla. You're just trying to boost to Tesla. But I'm sharing with information that uh, the global media are talking about. I can't make this stuff up. And this, this, the numbers here from Tesla are actually pretty, pretty staggering. 3.8 EV breakdowns per 1,000. Tesla, 0.5 per 1,000. People say, oh, Tesla reliability, not good. It's just emotions. It's purely emotions. So anyhow, the most susceptible EV to breakdown, shockingly, was the Hyundai Ioniq 5, which is horrendous with 22.4 breakdowns per 1,000 vehicles. Problems were the integrated charger control unit and its 12-volt battery. I had this conversation with someone online a few times, and I've said these issues with Kia and Hyundai cars are a problem and they are damaging the brands, um, to be honest, damaging the brand and it's, I guess it's re- perception of reliability. And people say, no, 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 Sam, you don't know the facts here. Um, sure, you've read all these stories and you've, you've gone on the forums, but you don't really know the facts. You don't know that these breakdowns are actually true. This could just be people bullshitting online. Uh, okay, guys, here are the numbers directly from Germany from 3.8 million breakdowns, Hyundai Ioniq 5, and therefore Kia, which have the same problems, 22.4 breakdowns per 1,000 vehicles. I've got to say, before you jump in the comments and say Sam's just an, uh, a, a hater, I've got to say, guys, hold off on that for a second because how many times have I said on the channel Kia electric cars and Hyundai electric cars are good? Probably 500, 600. So the fact that I'm pointing out some statistics doesn't make me a hater. So please, please control your emotions. I know most of you do, but the few that don't, control your emotions and, and let's be logical here. They are facing a, a significant problem and it does need to be fixed. 22.4 breakdowns versus Tesla's 0.5 is a shocking difference. And that's something that needs to be fixed because let's be honest, if Hyundai Ionic 5s weren't breaking down so frequently, much more frequent than, in, than internal combustion, more than twice as often, these numbers would be even better for electric cars, much better. The analysis found that defective starter batteries were a common cause of breakdowns between both EVs and internal combustion, accounting for 45% of all breakdowns attended by ADAC in 2024. So it's worth considering, does your car, its 12 volt battery, is it lithium or lead acid? If it's a lithium battery, much less likely to have an issue because lead acid batteries can get drained because of the software and those features that run when your car's not even turned on. And that's one of the reasons this is happening. Divided between engine type, defective 12-volt starter batteries were the cause of 50.5% of EV breakdowns, but only 44.6% of internal combustion engine vehicles. This is a big problem, and it can be fixed. Tesla was facing this problem when they were using lead-acid batteries for 12-volt, when they shifted to lithium batteries for 12-volt. cost Tesla more money, but it solved this problem of having these breakdowns from the 12-volt batteries. So guys, these numbers are really interesting because really, let's be honest, electric car manufacturers could probably get that number of 3.5 breakdowns per 1,000. They could probably get it down to the same as Tesla of 0.5, meaning that internal combustion engine breakdowns would in theory be 20 20 times higher, 20 times higher. I mean, that's the number in Germany. Internal combustion cars are breaking down 20 times more often than Teslas are. And that's where we could be if other EV manufacturers move to lithium batteries. I'm not spruiking Tesla here. I'm just pointing out the obvious, which is I think these EV brands, we should, they should use lithium 12 volt batteries or potentially sodium iron 12 volt batteries as well. Both of them are relatively affordable. They used to be quite expensive. It would probably only add an extra $100 to the cost to make a car. And I think it's an absolute no brainer. But the big takeaway is this, even with that issue, EVs are far more reliable than internal combustion. But that difference could drastically improve even more with just that one small change to how manufacturers are making electric cars. 